Hello Virgo, it's Julia here from the Highly Sensitive Tarot and um, we're here today to do your birthday reading. Um, this is a reading looking at the energies for the year ahead. Um, it is a general reading, if you like, so it's not going to resonate for everybody, but if you're Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising or Virgo features heavily within your chart, then there is the possibility something here may well resonate for you. I do hope so. I'm a Virgo myself. And um, I'm Virgo on the cusp of Libra, actually. And um, I'm Sun, Moon, Virgo. And I've got Virgo in four other places in my chart. So um, that's quite a bit of Virgo, isn't it? There we go. Already put ash all over my lovely new tablecloth. <laughs> there we go. That's better. I can put this back here now. So... I've got three oracle decks, um, two I'm going to draw at the beginning and one at the end, and I've got two tarot decks here. I may or may not clarify, I shall see how I go, because I'm going to be laying out 12 tarot cards here anyway, so um, that's quite a lot, really, um, and I don't want this video to go on forever, so um, anyway, I hope that you're all well, and happy birthday, Virgo. Um, I thought I'd try and get this done right for the beginning um, of Virgo season. So, um, so happy birthday. I hope that you're all well. I hope that everybody's doing okay. And um, we shall see what we get for your reading here. What messages come through. So, Spirit, please, if we can have a card that represents the energy surrounding Virgo at the moment. What is influencing Virgo at the moment? That would be great. Thank you. They don't want to separate. They're properly stuck together. So, what have we got here? Wow. <laughs> Hoo -hoo, Virgo. Sexual freedom. Wow. So these are true love oracle cards and they have cards that represent all aspects of love from very platonic friendships and relationships to sexual um, relationships and full on romantic relationships. And we have drawn sexual freedom Virgo so that's very nice that's a nice energy to be in um, whether you're young or a menopausal oldie like me at 54 um, this is certainly an energy to <laughs> to aspire to and to enjoy I would say um, yeah I'm gonna I'm going to draw another card. We shall see um, as the other cards come out what what that might be meaning for you. But, you know, that could that could mean so many things, couldn't it? It could be that there's a new relationship in your life, um, a new connection with somebody or just um, having come to terms with your own sexuality and... Um, Perhaps having worked quite hard on losing some of your inhibitions or, um, well, yeah, just feeling much more comfortable in your own skin, perhaps, Virgo, which would be a nice thing for us Virgos, wouldn't it? Hmm? I've got my little, um, my little Virgo representation here of the hermit look and um i certainly resonate with this picture so i don't know about you virgo but um 
So yeah, some some sexual freedom is a good energy to be sat in right now, isn't it? Let's see what your archetype cards have got to say about this. If I can actually shuffle them. Oh, they're so big. So, for Virgo, please, a card that represents the current energy for Virgo at the moment. What does Virgo need to know? What are the influences of the coming year for Virgo? Thank you. Okay. Oh, blimey. <laughs> so, along with sexual freedom, we have the card athlete. <laughs> Whatever are you up to, Virgo? <laughs> In its light attributes, this is dedication to transcending physical limits, including handicaps, development of personal willpower and strength of spirit. And in its shadow attributes, this is a misuse of athletic ability for selfish ends a false sense of invulnerability and entitlement. So this is not necessarily meaning that you're in training for the Olympics, but that perhaps there is an energy surrounding you at the moment that is concerned with transformation, with transcending any um, challenges that you might have, any health challenges. Um, whether they be mental or physical health problems, um, using willpower and strength of spirit to transcend those challenges that you might be facing. Um, really, to just feel more secure within yourself, I guess. Yeah. So actually, that's a very good card, isn't it, to have with the sexual freedom card? <laughs> yeah, because again, this is about transcending, isn't it? This is transformational energy and sexual freedom is very transformational energy, isn't it? Hmm, Virgo. <laughs> so... I'm now going to draw um, 12 tarot cards and they're going to be um, three cards for four questions, three cards each with four questions. So we're going to have your current self. How do you feel right now? We're going to have the overall theme of the year, key goals to pursue and obstacles obstacles and challenges to overcome and then lastly we're going to have a message from spirit which will be this deck here um, so for virgo please spirit what does virgo need to know at this time what is going on for virgo at the moment and what is coming up for virgo If we could have some clarity and some messages, please, for Virgo. Okay. So, I've got another deck here. I may clarify this reading. I may not. We'll see how it goes. So, we've got the Prince of Wands three of cups and the judgment card for your current self how do you feel right now we've got the hermit justice and the fool to represent the overall theme of the year we've got the princess <clears throat> of wands, the world, and 
temperance for your key goals to pursue. Blimey. Do you know, actually, I don't know why I've done it like this. Let's just move those. I'm going to put them down this way and then I'll be able to see them better. Didn't think that through very well, did I? <laughs> About my room on my table. So, and then the last three cards we've got are obstacles and challenges to come. And we've got the Princess of Swords, the Eight of Cups, and the Seven of Cups. And at the bottom of the deck, we have got the Ace of Pentacles. So, let's have a look here and see what we've got. So, your current self, how do you feel right now? We've got the Prince of Wands. We've got the Three of Cups. And we've got the Judgment card. So this is your current self right now. So we've got fire energy here. We've got water energy here. We've got the fire energy, haven't we? So. So. So there's a need here. There's a your current self, how you're feeling right now is that. There is a transformation going on here, I think. I think this is, these are cards that represent um, healing, feeling um, connected to other people, enjoying friendships and relationships with other people, and um, perhaps starting to... Um, Feel, feel your own um, your own energy, I guess your own um, your own inner fire, perhaps your own inner courage, your own inner strength, strength of will. Um, I mean, this Prince of Wands here to me goes very well with. Um, this athlete card, doesn't it? These are both cards very much of um, development of willpower, um, strength of spirit. Um, the development of a kind of fire in your belly for something. An enjoyment of life. That's what I'm seeing here. So this is this is how you feel at the moment. And I think generally at the moment, things are pretty good, Virgo, aren't they, actually? I think that um, this transformational process that is currently happening, this almost sort of new you that is emerging, is a much more... Um, is a much more hap is a happier person um a person who wants and needs some connections in their life yeah and then we've got the overall theme of the year and we have the hermit good old virgo energy there we have justice which is Libra energy. And we have the Fool, which is Uranus, isn't it? So, uh, the overall theme of the year is of perhaps finding some balance within yourself, um, coming out of your shell a little bit more, perhaps pursuing this, this kind of theme that already we've got here of transformation, but in a more balanced way. There's definitely a new start here, a new project, um, 
a new way of being, if you like. A new path ahead of you. And I think that 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 will require balance really with the, with your need for kind of solitude and contemplation and um, yeah I feel that I feel I think what I'm seeing here really is that there is a movement away perhaps from being in this very hermit like energy. I think it's a very natural and very easy place for us Virgos to end up in this kind of hermit-like energy. But I think that looking at these six cards here, I think that currently you're in a process of almost like coming out of your shell, if you like. And um, I think that connections with other people actually are going to become more and more of a theme for you this year. Um, I think, I mean, in this justice card here, although this is a card, let me remove that, although this is a card of Libra and air and all things kind of thought and intellect, We've got the sun and the moon here. We've got yin and yang. And to me, this is just, this is a focus for me on relationships. This is a focus, quite an intense focus, actually, looking at this image here on correcting the balance in your life. Yeah. I don't know what else I want to say about that. Correcting the balance in your life of, um, yeah, of integration of sort of opposing energies, if you like. I do feel that quite strongly. I think, I think we're moving out of some of this more inward looking energy this very feminine inward looking energy and we're moving into more of a space of um masculine energy if you like of outward energy of external things of connections of people um of being out in the world of enjoying yourself of enjoying life um yeah. I think the cards across the middle here are quite pertinent and um yeah, I mean that that's very much what I'm feeling here really is that the the focus of your attention and the focus of your life is going to there's going to be a shift in this next year. And I think that you're already in that shift, to be honest. I think that that has already begun. I think you're already recognising that you would like more fulfilling connections in your life, whether that be friendships or romantic relationships. Um, but I think very much you would like to start feeling some fire in your belly again. I think that... Um, I'm just just looking at these cards. I'm just very much getting the feeling that you've had some tough times, that things have not gone well for you in the past. And um, you face quite a lot of challenges, actually. But I do see you coming out the end of those things. I do see those kind of chapters closing in your life and this becoming a time of of more balance um, of more emotional connections of the balancing of perhaps even the male and female aspects within yourself I mean that could well be what 
The sexual freedom card is about, it could just be about you feeling much happier um, and content and just okay with yourself, I guess, really. So, yeah, there's certainly a lot more, yeah, there's a lot more drive here to, um, to develop that side of yourself. So if we look at the key goals to pursue for this coming year, we've got the Princess of Wands, who is the Page of Wands. We've got the world and we've got beautiful temperance here so if we look at those cards as key goals to pursue again we have this sort of acknowledgement that this is the right time to pursue any kind of sparks of new ideas, new projects, new relationships, um, new connections. Yeah. I think that there will be some closing up of cycles um, that are important for you to acknowledge. I think with the world card here, I think it's important to acknowledge that actually you've got all the skills that you need to pursue whatever you want this year, really, for yourself, Virgo. I think it's all here. It just needs a shift, I think, within you to focus on, on different things. Um... Again, we've got another card here of balance, of moderation, um, of needing things to flow, um, of filling your own cup, if you like, um, of just feeling, feeling the abundance of life again, feeling the hope and joy and abundance of life. Yeah, it's interesting. I'm just, it's just occurred to me we've only got one sword in amongst all of these cups. And the only pentacle we've got here is at the bottom of the deck as well. So this is a card, dom this is a reading dominated by Major Arcana, wands and cups. What have we got? We've got one two three four five we've got six major arcana here out of 12 cards so this would say to me that actually your coming year the things that are going on for you at the moment are all quite big um karmic type lessons if you like they're all they're all things that might not be immediately apparent within your environment but they're all drives that are that are kind of pushing you onwards pushing you forwards this is about fulfilling your destiny i guess if you like this is really the transformation of of a soul into somebody that feels more connected, more complete, more together, um, more confident, more well balanced. Um, yeah. So in the um, obstacles and challenges to come, we've got the Princess of Swords who is the Page of Swords. We've got the Eight of Cups. And we've got the Seven of Cups here. 
And these are obstacles and challenges to overcome, aren't they? Which is strange, isn't it, that we've got we've got the Princess of Swords in your challenges and obstacles rather than anywhere else placed here, which would make me think that perhaps your your thought processes in some way um, are an obstacle to this this transformation. Um, as is a tendency, I think, for your, um, yeah, I think as, as a, a tendency for your glass to be half full, if you like, um, that you're struggling to let go of certain painful energies from your past, that you're struggling to start again, you know, there's a feeling here that something ended, and um, you're still kind of stuck in that energy, in that negativity. And um, there is very much the feeling here that perhaps that is your obstacle, that is a, your challenge for the year ahead, is to overcome some of this kind of limited thinking, this being stuck in the past, um, being prone to negativity, to worry, to feeling that perhaps life won't improve, that life won't get better. Um, yeah. But I can certainly tell you here, Virgo, that it's going to, and it is. I just think that you maybe can't see that yourself at the moment. It's really um, reassuring, I think, that the, the, the only sort of negative cards, I suppose, in this these 12 cards are in your obstacles and challenges to overcome, which is where they should be, isn't it, you know? So, yeah. I think this is a beautiful year to come for you, Virgo. This is a year of um igniting some passions for yourself in whatever way that resonates in whatever whatever way you want that to be <laughs> i would certainly say with sexual freedom and athlete that whatever this passion is whatever is going on here is something that is physical as well as emotional and um I would say for, for for sure there there is a passionate relationship here for you, Virgo. Um, there's a rediscovery of yourself here. Um, so yeah, your current self. How do you feel right now? So yeah, as I said, you're you're in a good place right now. I think that you. Um, I think that you're you're feeling quite a lot of drive within yourself, quite a lot of energy at the moment to um, to experience life, to get out there into the world, to mix things up a bit for yourself, to um, to discover some new connections with people. Yeah. Yes. How's that resonating, Virgo? I would love to hear in the comments how this reading is coming across to you. So the overall theme for the year is the Hermit, Justice and the Fool. I mean, with the Justice card, it is possible some of you might be going through some kind of legal battle, um, some kind of legal proceedings, there could be marriage even here, or an engagement, um, or moving in together. Um, there's certainly new opportunities here.
So yeah, I think the overall theme for your year really is to get a little bit out of your comfort zone because the Hermit is very definitely the comfort zone of Virgo, I would say. That resonates very strongly for me. And when I think about any other Virgos, I know that's a that's a very strong energy for us. And it's the Hermit is not just about hiding away and being a big scaredy cat <laughs> like in this picture here the the hermit is somebody who wants to shine their light in dark corners and uncover things um the hermit is a card of shadow work of enlightenment of understanding um of meditation and transformation really and i think that 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 energy is going to be put to very good use here. I think that there is definitely going to be um, something new in your life this year. You've certainly got your eye on something that you want, I think. And from what I can see here, there's no reason why you're not able to manifest that for yourself, for sure. The goals for you to pursue are to encourage this inner passion, to encourage this new flame, this ignition of passion, this new energy within yourself to experience new things and experience life in a more positive way. Um, you will yeah do you know i'm really struggling to get my words out today i'm really feeling quite a lot of um i've been getting quite hot while i've been doing this reading actually i don't know there's a lot of fire and a lot of passion in these cards here a lot and i think that the only thing that is holding back well, the only thing that is holding you back at the moment actually is your own mindset your own sort of loss mindset um of you know like as i said of sort of having your glass half empty of not seeing um not seeing all the possibilities around you not even seeing or not even allowing yourself to feel certain things i think actually they are certainly the obstacles and challenges to overcome this year is um is to start being more mindful i think of how you talk to yourself um, of the things that you say to yourself how you judge yourself how you look at yourself um because the issues here, the challenges and the obstacles here, they're not things of the external world. They are most definitely things within you. They're very definitely conflicts within you. And as I said, I do feel very strongly that something has happened in the past that has upset you a lot, that's made you kind of retreat into yourself, that's made you feel sad and scared and kind of dark in your thought processes, kind of hopeless within your thought processes. And um, I think it has felt at times that that would never lift, it would never shift. But I think it's beginning to. I think these are energies that you will still need to work on. But I think it's beginning to shift. And at the bottom of the deck, we've got um, we've got the Ace of Pentacles here. And the, the bottom of the deck is often what we don't see about a situation or just the very crux of a situation. And this is like a new seed, isn't it? This is a new start of something positive in your life. Um, pentacles generally represent the real world you know, the the solid, practical, external world. 
So this could be um, a new home, a new job, um, new con this could also even represent new connections with people, of people that feel more like family, people that feel close to you. Um, but it's a brand new sparkly start, really, this. And I think that that's much needed for you, Virgo. I think that although things have started to change recently, I think that if you could get your thoughts um, in the right place, if your thoughts and your emotions, your thoughts and your feelings could be in alignment, I think that this transformational re process, this rebirth, this, um, this inner awakening um, is only going to sort of accelerate for you, I think. So there we go. I'm not going to clarify these cards because um, I think the information is here. I've just struggled to, um, to articulate it for you really so um i do hope that this reading has resonated for you virgo so could we have a message from your spirit guides please one last card just to sum up the energy of this reading and to give some advice please for virgo at this time have some clarity and some advice, please, from your spirit guides. And we have Hathor. Lovely. So this is an Egyptian goddess. Number 33 as well. That's a that's a good number, isn't it? A positive number. So the key words on this card are celebration, rejuvenation and gratitude. And I can see that actually reflected in your cards here. You've certainly got a rejuvenation here. <laughs> and I think that, you know, when I was talking about your obstacles and your challenges here, about your mindset, perhaps to um, encourage a, a gratitude kind of mindset for what you actually have in your life already would be a very positive thing for you to be doing at the moment. Let's have a look. What does it say in here about Hathor? So this is an Egyptian sky goddess. She's often represented with the head or ears of a cow. She's an uplifting and loving mother goddess who's associated with women women's health, love, fertility, the heart and the planet Venus. This card is about rebirth, rejuvenation and feminine expression. She is also the consort of Horus. So when Hathor appears, it is a time to celebrate life and all its gifts. And I can see that here. I think that you're all, you're, it's like you're on the precipice of taking steps into into a world that is that has more joy and has less worry i think so in your love and relationships do something to celebrate with your friends family and loved ones work celebrate your success and achievements home play high vibrational music sing or chant mantras to lift the energy of your home Money. Spend your money on experiences, celebrations and creating joyful memories. And well-being. Express yourself, your emotions and your gratitude for life through movement. Explore dance. Take a dance class or bring dance breaks into your day. Do you know, I've been doing that recently. I do love to dance and although I don't go out to clubs or you know, st stuff like that anymore. I quite regularly put some music on at home and have a dance and I really <laughs> do enjoy that. It's really good for your soul and your well-being completely. Um, 
So that's very good advice. Spirituality, focus on opening, healing and expanding your heart chakra. The more open your heart is, the more able you are to magnetise to you all the good things that are out there. Call on Hathor for assistance with enjoying your life, rejuvenation in any area of your life, feeling more gratitude for all that you have, showing love for and celebrating others, celebrating yourself and owning your achievements, and by moving your body and enjoying your body. Wow. This all just fit, doesn't it? Rejuvenation, connections, celebrations, showing love for and celebrating relationships with others. That's all here. Enjoying being in your body, um, transcending any physical limits that you might have, any handicaps or disabilities that you might have, any health problems. Um, this is really, I think, coming for, you know, moving forward a year of celebrating how far you've come, Virgo, I think, here. Yeah. As I said, there's, which is unusual for Virgo, there is very little in the way of swords and pentacles here. This is mostly wands and cups. So this is about feeling and doing rather than being stuck in your head, worrying about the real world, worrying about life. This is more about just being in the world rather than trying to work it all out and trying to control everything and trying to, um, to stay on top of everything. This is just, this is almost sort of fuck it really. I'm just going to enjoy myself. And I think in order to do that, you need to let go of some of this very stagnant, stale energy that has been hanging around for way too long. This kind of energy here of, um, of feeling sad, of um, feeling stuck and feeling hopeless and missing certain things in your life. I think you need to stop harking back to the past and actually focus on what you've got here right now and what's coming up for you for the future. But overall, Virgo, this is a fantastic reading. This is really, really positive. Um, this is some lovely energy to be sat in, to be honest. There's all kinds of possibilities for you here if you can have the right mindset about it and I think that that very much involves um, tackling your mindset, tackling some of your negativity, the sort of ruminating thoughts, the things that you say to yourself, how you talk about yourself, how you feel about yourself, this needs to become more positive more self-love um, and perhaps that will come through your connections with other people. Um, in fact it will certainly come through your connections with other people but I think it's also going to come from within because this athlete card here, as I said for, some, for, for a very small minority of you this may be about actually your physical endurance, you know, you might be competing in something, um, training in some kind of sport. Um, but really, to me, the archetype of the athlete talks about discipline and self-discipline and endurance and willpower and strength of spirit, because this is about overcoming and transcending your physical limits. So, um, so yeah, in your inner and your outer world here, there is 
a massive amount of change going on, a massive amount of rejuvenation and transformation here. This is beautiful. It's a lovely read in Virgo, so I really, really, really do hope that that's resonated for some of you. I, I, as I said, I would love to hear um, in the comments if it has. Um, I think anything this year that will help you to get into your body and out of your head has got to be a good thing, whether that be sex, <laughs> whether that be dancing, whether that be spending time with other people. Um, having fun, laughing, getting out into the world, whatever that is, I think this is the year to really um, pursue those things. So good luck Virgo, please do give me a thumbs up if you like this reading and um, do subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, that would be wonderful. And as I said, I'd love to hear from any of you. I'm a Virgo myself and actually there are aspects of this reading that resonate for me, so um, I would love to hear from any of you. So thank you and look after yourself and see you again soon.